guys welcome back to another quick sparky art tutorial as you can see from the title today I'm gonna teach you how to create pretty custom um, frames for your filters and I will also teach you how you can insert a screen tap in motion where you can interchange them easily and just select you know the frame you want to use for your selfies or for any um, pretty video video clip that you want to make and as you can see you can create very seasonal kind of frames like this Eutumni uh, leaves frame very warm and perfect for uh, September October or very girly flowery frames as well you know tropical leaves frames um, or very abstract kind of frames with um, paintbrush strokes all over it and um, you know as always sky's the limit so let's jump right into it and let's start with a new project and I will show you um, how you can import uh, preset PNG frames that you can find on the internet and easily download or how you can custom make your own unique frames you know it's super easy first things of course we need frames so let's just open a google page and as always you can just type um, frame png and see what's pop up into your search just click on images this again it's a very quick demonstrational tutorial so i will go through this part very quickly just to give you an idea how to find frames but then you can take as long as you want to find the prettiest frames obviously royalty free that you are authorized to use for your project always make sure you either purchase the digital file you know online or you can actually use a free png available on the web but just to give you an idea this for instance is a png frame files where you have transparent background and so you just go into the website and you download your file you can also go into a png3 com and this is an excellent website where you can purchase any png file for a very low cost um, they are beautiful actually see look how cute is this little notepad paper kind of png but see for example this is a beautiful png file so you can just type on the search bar frame and you have tons of options so this is one way where you can find a png that you can you know comfortably use for your project and you can find a very pretty flowery kind of frames or very abstract very elegant baroque style you know very royal looking frames and then the cool things about this website is that if you click on a type of frame on this section right here on your right side you have all similar frames very similar to the one that you just click on so if for example you search for flower frames you see you have a lot of options um, see this is a very common frame that you can see on filters I will suggest you to go with a rectangular style uh, because it's just easier you know to fit on your screen uh, but you can use whatever you want and then of course you just keep scrolling throughout the pages and this is just to show you you know how many options you have into this website uh, this for example have flowers and butterfly look how pretty these ones let's say for example you like this one with the roses on the corners and again you can see on your uh, right side that you have all similar options so this is also a quicker way to scroll through many many options because you have nine different um, variation or you can just scroll down and see other options you can also type something like i don't know christmas frame if you want a seasonal kind of frame and you can see you have tons of options perfect for christmas time as well as you can do the same for Halloween look how pretty is this one this is a very pretty um, holiday season kind of frame 
that you can easily insert into your filter. So this is the first way that you can found very pretty frames, you know, any type. You can also um, type food frames if you want something more original. And see you have frames with candies. Um, this one is a Halloween frame, for example. You have a lot of Halloween frames right here to choose uh, between. Just have fun and keep exploring around this website. Then another website I strongly recommend you, it's Canva. So if you don't have an account, I strongly recommend you to explore Canva because it's one of the best um, tool you can have to create any type of digital product. And you can do exactly the same things, go in the search bar and type frame. Oh, sorry, let's go into photos frame and as you can see you have a lot of um, beautiful frame this one I like a lot which is the one that I inserted in my project you just twist it at 90 degrees so you can fit it on your screen and you can download it with transparent background so just click PNG and check the transparent background little square and then just click download and Canva will automatically save it on your um, desktop wherever you want it. And you can repeat this process with as many frames as you like. This is another very cool one. See you have a lot of different frames that you can choose between. This is very cool for children. So you can always remove uh, the white part. Remember how I teach you. So you just download it as PNG. Then you open your frame, you just use this little tool right here and the magic selector and you select all the white and you cut it out and then you have the pencil frames left so you can use this as a frame now, you know. Canva have a lot of beautiful frames. You can also, for example, if you want to create a custom frame, see I love this type of leaves you can insert two leaves one on the bottom and one on top and just create a custom frame just like that voila and just save it with transparent background and this is a beautiful uh, fall autumn looking kind of frame you know you can also choose for instance let's put um, Christmas frame see this is a beautiful um, kind of pine um, frames you know it looks very realistic you just flip it to mimic your screen size and then if you want to make it more Christmassy you can actually add elements in it like I don't know a gingerbread to make it more Christmassy, you can see add some gingerbread cookies and place it on top of your frame or on the corner. You can also type, I don't know, candy cane. See, this is a very, very quick example, but just to show you how you can customize your frames. Super easy and super fun. You can literally do whatever you want with it. Or a gift, you know, Christmas gift. And you can also change colors. For example, I just inserted this uh, gift kind of element, but I want the package to be red, to be more Christmassy. So you can customize literally everything. And then you just place it, I don't know, right here in the corner. And you can rotate your gift a little bit. You can do whatever you want. You can add a snowman. Voila. 
Now obviously I did this super fast just to give you an example but uh, you can make it so much prettier. And you can do this with everything, you want to create an Eotum kind of frame, you do the same. Um, let's for example go back into photos and let's look for like leaves frame. See this is very pretty. You can add flowers or strawberries, whatever you want. You can make a frame very summery with all uh, kind of uh, tropical fruit around it. So you can flip it horizontally. Put your pineapple here. Whatever you want guys. Let's try one more. Let's go into photos again. So um, let's do a Halloween kind of frame. See this is very cool, very spooky. Then you have pumpkin frames. Um, there's so much you can do. Look at this one, how cool. This is the candy corn frame which I inserted into my filter effect just to show you, you know, you can really create um, a theme kind of um, filter if you want to make it just for Halloween or, you know, fall season and so on. So um, keep playing as long as you want with this and once you have all your frame downloaded as PNG and saved into a folder, we can go back into Spark ER. And we can start by adding uh, rectangles right here. Let me move myself out of the way. So you just click the plus add object um, button and you click on rectangle, insert, and you click as many rectangle as you want because each rectangle will be um, assigned to a specific frame. So if you want to have, let's say, three frames you're gonna add three rectangles or if you want to have five frames option you're gonna add five rectangles and keeping your rectangle selected you want to go back into your inspector panel and just click on fill with and fill hey and now we have our first rectangle so before we're gonna attach a frame in it I suggest you to duplicate this You can rename it, so we can name this frame 1, frame 2, frame 3, frame 4, frame 5. Okay, so let's keep this example simple with only 5 frames and then of course you can add as many as you want. Then once you have your 5 rectangles, you want to create a material for each one of your rectangles. So just go on the plus button and we can name this material 1 and you keep repeating the process for all your rectangle. Perfect, so now we have material for each rectangle, so from this stage we're gonna import all our frames, so click on add asset and import from computer and go into the right folder, so I have my frame folders right here and you will sure have your own, you know, where you saved all your downloads and I'm gonna import my five favorite frames. So I'm gonna import these first five right here. I'm actually strongly considering to order Nando's tonight. It's been since forever that I don't order takeaway food and oh my gosh, I'm so, like because I feel guilty ever, ever since we went through this pandemic, I feel like I don't wanna waste money with uh, food delivery because it's so freaking expensive. So I've been cooking so much, sorry, this is it has nothing to do with the tutorial, but like I feel like to share with you, I really am craving roasted chicken with french fries and Nando, oh my gosh, ah. My mouth is watering. Anyway, let's go back to the tutorial. As you can see, I have my five frames right here imported in my assets. So, as you can imagine, what we are gonna do now is link each frame to the corresponded um, rectangle. So, what you're gonna do is select the first rectangle material, go into texture and uh, select the first frame. 
and then you keep repeating the same process for all your frames lovely now that we have all our frames um, connected to our rectangles we want to resize them so you have to select the device you are using so in my case I'm using um, an iPhone X and what you're gonna do now you have all your frames visible which is very confusing so if you click on your rectangles you can see the visible little square is checked so uncheck it for each one of your rectangle and you want to keep only the first frame visible which I think is this one, the candy corn. Okay, this is very Halloween-y. See, you could actually add some pumpkins or some spiders in this frame and make your own unique frames. Um, so easy, you know, by using Canva. You can actually sign up into Canva and, you know, take advantage of the first um, 30 days of trial so you don't have to pay anything you just cancel before the 30 days expired so if you want to just test it out without any financial commitment this is a great you know offer the Canva has right now so take advantage because you never know things always change okay so by keeping selected the first rectangle you can now work with the resizing tools and you just look at your screen and you readjust the position and the size and you want to do that for every single frame so this one is done keep in mind that um, if it seems like you don't have a lot of space you know to show your face into the screen then of course these are preset you know video templates but once you move with, the, with your phone you can keep your phone farther from your face so you're gonna fit more of yourself into frame so you can also fit your shoulders you know and decolletage area so now it looks very busy because of course this is a preset um, video preview okay so this one has been resized it's pretty decent always look this part of the screen don't get confused by looking this part this is just to resize but then look the final effect right here on the phone mock-up once you have resized your first frame uncheck the visible square and go into the second one and click check so you can see it and you repeat the same process you just reposition and resize and you just keep doing that for every single frame you have imported Lovely. So once you have resized and repositioned all your frames, what you want to do, um, we're going to work with the patch editor right now, but before we do that, I want you to make sure that you check the no compression little square on each frame because you want to keep the quality of your PNG very high. And now go on view show patch editor. From this stage, I want you to double click and search for the screen tap patch. Insert. Then click and drag the first little arrows and search for counter patch. And then click and drag again and search for option sender patch. Voila. Now on the counter patch we have um, the maximum count which is by default set to 5 which just match perfect the number of frames we have but if for instance you are using 10 different frames you just want to change it to the number 10. So in our case for this example we're going to keep it set to 5. And then what you want to do right now is to select all your rectangles and click the visible button so you're gonna end up having five little yellow patches one per frame so just rearrange them in a way that it's very easy to connect them to the option sender patch and you just wanna connect one by one voila 
then you're gonna click on top of the option sender patch and click this drop down menu and select the boolean option almost forgot to mention you have to make sure you check this little value uh, square right here and now with the simulation touch which has to be selected you can um, simulate the screen tapping motion by clicking right here in your phone mockup and you can see that it's working perfectly every time you will um, tap your screen you will change automatically frame so of course what i would suggest you from this point on is to just test it on your phone so you can click right here obviously make sure you connect your phone to your laptop by a usb cable and then you can just click send to app see it's telling me that i have to uh, connect the phone to my laptop and voila this is it this is how you create a beautiful customized um, frame selector and super easy you can use this same technique you know to swap options even with other um, elements for example if you want to create um, an accessorized kind of filters you know where you try I don't know headbands or earrings you can still use the same um, process with the patches and just insert the screen tapping motion to swap throughout your options you know and it's also a super cool way to insert multiple elements into the same filter so i hope this video was helpful and it teach you something new and add some value into your filter creations um, journey if it did please remember to leave a like subscribe if you didn't yet and i really hope to see you in my next video bye guys